welcome to episode 1439 of Hard Factor. It is Friday, April 12th, 2024. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. 80-ish percent accuracy guaranteed. Everything you need to know in 40 minutes or less. But if you need more, go to patreon.com slash hard factor. Today, Mark's got OJ's death and other deaths to tell us about. Well, that's why we're, we're late. We'll, we're a little bit broken up over it. Yeah, I was... Uh, I was just coll- I have a OJ jersey collection. Yeah, got to wear, wear one right. Psych. So. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, I have OJ in another story. It's gonna be good. Yeah, we killed him. By the way, you'll find out in a few minutes oh. uh, how we killed him. But we we're taking credit for this one. Um, okay. Yeah. It was eerie timing. If yeah. you are a patron, you know yes. what we're talking about. Patreon.com. You'll find out. Uh, I've got a death sentence. Not deaths, but a death sentence, a potential death, uh, a probable death over in Asia uh, and more in an international moment. A lot of communism in this one. We're over in. uh, So. Woo. Welcome back. Commies coming up big. Oh, yeah. But But it's all punishments, though. So it's not your it's not your flavor of communism. You know, this is when they're having to bring the hammer down. I mean, uh, I'd say what my flavor of communism is publicly, (laughs) but private privately. I'll never share. Let's just say I might be enjoying this story. It, well, if you're into if you're into him cracking down on the citizens, I've got you covered. Knowing Pat, I don't think he likes punishments, but he loves revenge. So if Love the, revenge. the punishments are revenge punishments, he's in. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I guess uh, every punishment is a bit of a revenge punishment, right? I mean exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally. Good. How how crazy is the Punisher? Um, uh, and then uh, Pat's got the latest on Otani's gambling interpreter. Yeah, that's right. And speaking of death, hopefully my dad doesn't die. But that's why I've been off the show. Yes, I'm not a religious man, but yeah, praying. praying for your dad, praying for Big Mike. Yeah, miracle be great. Yes, Indeed. and Shoei Otani's interpreter needs one too. Because he is, I'm turning my mic volume out. I'm sorry, I'm at my no, man, parents' screw, house. Screw Otani's. We'll take we'll take the miracle for your dad. He doesn't. Deserve yeah, no. The ga- I, yeah, I'd rather Big Mike over the over the game with that. Honestly, if the, if more comes out, I, it kind of looks funny. I, the I want to see more about the gambling. Uh, so I really am hoping for the miracle. Well, I got, there's one big question. No there's one big question that took place in the uh, the new update. There's one big question, and we're gonna get to it when you hear my story there at the end. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm excited. There's a lot of good, a lot of good stories today, um, and we're definitely all praying for your dad. I'm not super religious either, but I've, I've been, I've been doing that. Um, Thank so, you. So OJ Simpson, Juice, um, they call him, died on Thursday at the age of 76 after losing a case against cancer. So he was one for one on trials for his life. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> say, I gotta say, I've been, I've been not tuned into the news, but that, um. The meme of the Bronco hearse yeah. is <laughs> easily, easily the best. Cover. That was co- the cover image of today's episode. That's the cover of today's show. That's yeah. just one of the best Photoshop yeah. jobs I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the hearse Bronco. Yeah. He's I t- mean, he's the Bronco hearse. Bronco sky. Yeah. You don't, you don't wish for a lot of deaths or celebrate them. OJ is one. Yeah, I know. It's like, look, fuck cancer, as we've said many times in the show, but... Because it was cancer. Yeah, but 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 we'll stop to make cancer look like a hero. <laughs> we'll point it out in the group chat. Remember what the publisher did with the "If I Did It" book, oh, yeah. which was behind the fold. The "If" was behind the fucking fold. That was his book. He did in 2006. He released the books that 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 on the cover read "I Did It," but it was it was the real title was "If I Did It." Um. OJ, yeah, OJ. I mean, it's it's tough. With it's, exclusive it's a tough commentary, I'm a big Juice fan, guys. So this is real. From hard. the Goldman family, he did it. Yeah. Damn. Look, I can't. I can't. Don't speak ill of the dead, right? That's classless. So I will say this: we here at Hard Factor killed him. We absolutely killed him. I, in particular, have a bit of a track record with killing people. I talk about on the show. Reference the Queen. I think uh, Mama C in the Discord said I killed like three people in in, in like a, three weeks a couple years ago. Uh, the Queen croaked on my birthday, and you know, also maybe coincidence. 
Maybe not. I don't know what's going on. We also almost killed Jordan Vandersloot running with that conjugal visit story a month or so ago. He mm. still might because he's getting beat up and probably going to get killed. But anyways. You're check- claiming all of those. You're like ISIS. I'm, I'm absolutely like ISIS. When it's, I'm, I'm the queen, but, you know, like she did a great job for her. You know, like everyone, you know, a lot of people love the queen. I, I don't, I don't dislike the queen. I'm trying to target assholes like Jordan. Okay. You know, like that, you know that you were a very much hated dude when every time you get beat up in prison, there's a news story updating folks that you're still getting beat up in prison. Yeah, I yeah, mean that's people love it. Yeah, I think people get beat up in prison every day. It was, almost, well, news. Pat, it was almost like a good news story. It read like uh, Jordan Vandersloot uh, attacked in prison riot, which was designed. The riot was designed to distract people so they could attack him. And they're like, he's okay, but good news. They still wanted to get him again. Like, <laughs> that was how the story read. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying, Mark. So you're you're saying like, because OJ is arguably the goat of murder. Like, is is there a more a, a murderer who was more like flamboyant and getting away, away with, with it, it right in everybody. Well, face. let me ask you, why is Spectre? Why, pe- people have been saying that. What what makes him the goat of murder? Like, what are the factors at play? Into uh, it? Dude, he got off. Look at he. This was the trial. The of trial him. being so public. This is look at the gloves. They fit, and he's is somehow him spreading his hands out inside the gloves and pretending they don't fit. I'm work. sure there are more <laughs> prolific in terms of body counts of murderers that have gotten away with it, obviously, but he was the most public. Most right? prolific, like most at the prolific. highest level. Right. Yeah. But here, look, check As out the master. highest profile murderer that clearly did it. Right. But got right. away with won. it. Yeah. Because of Rodney King. Right. And, Be- and because of our, lost, because of our broken him. social contract, uh, OJ <laughs> killed two people and got away with it. Right. And, and, and look, he lost the civil suit there because, you know, anyways, but if you don't believe me that we killed him, check out a mashup from this week's Hive Hour that you can find on patreon.com slash hard factor. This came out on Wednesday, a day before OJ died and was recorded on Tuesday of this week. Now, warning, you will not hear the Norm MacDonald clips due to copyright, but I assure you they are funny and you can hear them on the Hive Hour. Let's roll the fucking tape. Welcome back to another edition of the Hive Hour. You got Wes, Will, and Mark this week, and we organically have just been talking about Norm Macdonald and how much we love him. The original, amazing, uh, the weekend update anchor because he got basically canceled um, by everyone for like making fun of women, and then OJ. He went after OJ so hard that I think that like oh people didn't like him making fun of OJ. No, like o- OJ was still friends with. Like- <laughs> OJ was still friends with like the the president of the company type thing. One second. Here's what here's what he got canceled for uh that Mark just talked about. The Him OJ stuff. Al- always shitting on OJ is the yeah. is the title of this YouTube video. It's amazing. So, let's share this screen. Norm Macdonald constantly shitting on OJ Simpson is the title of the video. Great. Let me just pull screen that real quick. <laughs> Oh my god! It yeah, goes amazing. on for like seven, another eleven more minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he he got canceled for that. Well, for, for yeah, hating on OJ, there was a couple reasons because he was head. like declared not not guilty. So because of that, anyways, some, some comedy classics. Talk. You guys want to watch more Norm or? Uh-huh. Um, skip towards the end of Norm when he, like the later years, like he he really lets he really lets OJ have it in some of these. Oh, he gives it to him hard. <laughs> Yo, right, so hard here. like oj everybody now in 2024 sort of agrees you know oj did it right every no matter like whether you what you felt about the verdict at the time back in the 90s today you're like yeah i mean who else killed her it's got to be oj stern stern gives it to oj hard too he never he hasn't given up either he still makes the oj jokes there you have it. I mean, we talked about OJ for 20 minutes on that show. We did. Yeah, I mean, there was four minutes of it. Two and a half. The, uh... Two and a half. <laughs> yeah. you can't, you can't, like you can't slip a, you can't slip a clip past Pat. Yeah, felt like that. It was more. It was even more painful for us because we were in it, Pat. So at least you. Yeah, know, I mean, that's uh-huh. that's that's 10 percent of the OJ we talked about. Um, yeah, yeah Norm so we talked about a lot of OJ. We we laid the groundwork for his demise, and and uh, we didn't I'm, know he was dying. We just killed him. Yeah. Well, if you, I mean, if you want to claim it ISIS style, this is one I'm not going to mind. OJ, yeah. like, I mean, yeah, he's, it was his time. So right? how long like, did I mean, he do not, for the, the armed robbery, though? 
That that I, that's what was weird because I think some years. he did the armed robbery and then got out. Like you, because you can go to wait, you can go away for twenty years for armed robbery. He didn't do twenty years. No, well, he he, 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 he robbed his own goods back, his own merch. Package. One of those goods back, the goods that he had to give away because he murdered yeah. someone. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, and then the DNA analysis was that it was, you know, only the three of theirs, him and the two victims, and yeah. lost a civil suit. So yeah, I mean, it's like he wrote the book. If I did it with the only yeah. I did it showing on the cover, he did nine, nine years. Nine so, years. Yeah. Now, listen, I know there's some people that think OJ was innocent uh, still, and I don't want anyone to die besides pedophiles, rapists, murderers, and spiders. But apparently, we and maybe more so I have this power and need to be responsible with it. So, that being said, DM me with who you want killed next. Um, has to be, oh, yeah, a, you can turn this into a business, has to be a famous person or you know, like a public figure and a yeah. piece of shit to even be considered. So, don't send me like your neighbor, or your ex girlfriend, or anything. Mm. Yeah. Right. There has to be a news story about him. Right. So, but yeah, if you want to route that person towards the angel of death, send it to Mark. So, did you guys know a lot of times one of the reasons that kidnapping victims get killed is because kidnapping carries as heavy a penalty, yes. almost as heavy as yes. murder. So, people that have kidnapped are like fucking kidnapped. Yes. Uh, only one shot out here. Right. And that's kill, murder. Kill, that, kill the but, blabber mouth. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. OJ got charged with 12 counts of armed robbery and kidnapping. How the fuck did he only do nine years? Didn't I mean, he only like, have like a baseball bat, though? I don't think he like. It, it doesn't matter. No, I think well, he had a gun. Knife, right. He had the knife. Uh, yeah, but, dude, my point is like. Knife, of course. Th- look, yeah, our justice system's fucked up. Rodney King happens. Then OJ murders two people. LA's mad about well, it. It's not right, a race racial for me, but Definitely the case was a. a there were race things and, and no, understood. Yeah. That's why you got a lot of people have gotten a bum deal, hundred percent. But uh, but that's that's why when it comes around again, when you have the shot again, right, to put OJ away for kidnapping, right? Yeah. That's really you fucked up for Rodney King. Like if if OJ getting off is is viewed as a makeup call for Rodney King, how pissed are you if you're Rodney King from Beyond the Grave? Rodney was pissed right. about it. That that oh, that it, you're, and that you're like when it getting OJ off of murder. Right. Yeah, that's not that's not a good one. That's not a payback. It's horrible. <laughs> Wasn't good for uh, Rodney on any front. Right, of right. course, no. <laughs> that was I mean the the ninety two riots were 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 horrible. Were were uh, you know evidence of how bad it was. OJ right. knew he was watching those riots, thinking, yeah, yeah they did now. They was Nicole, one. Uh, Nicole is dead yeah. now. Uh. Let, got one more quick one. Let's head over the pond real quick. Uh, Nigel Farage. Ever heard of him? Mm. Nigel Farage, Nigel the Farage, politician that gets milkshakes thrown in his face. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, former ah. British broadcaster and former politician who was leader of the UK Independence Party from 2006 to 2016, leader of the Brexit Party from 2019 to 2021, and current honorary president of what that party's called now, the Reform UK Party. He's an old school British nationalist that keeps the no milkshakes party. Yeah, he keeps it so British his teeth still suck. Yeah, yeah. Old, old school. school. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Old school. Yeah. yeah. Don't run away from your heritage. Yeah. It's, not, like, it's like when deaf, when deaf, when deaf people get the cochlear implant, you know what I mean? Right. Turning their back on the community. Right. When well, British people get their teeth fixed. Yeah, every exactly. Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, he's, he sticks to the plan. Well, the party he founded now, again, the reform UK doesn't want no scrubs associated with them. That's why they fired its election candidate in York central lazy piece of shit. Tommy Cockwell. Um, bastard who didn't do a bit of work for his campaign for the past two months. Oh, well, that's not good. I mean, not a you, team you player. Got to work if you're going to run for office. You got to hit. You, you know, you got to hit the streets. Got to work. Yeah, ask ask Bill Football. Um, right. that's why. Uh, so here's a quote: We we can't afford to have people doing nothing in an election year. A, a party spokesman said, and I, yeah, amen. I get it. Right. So yeah, that's that, that appropriate. Went, went for the other shoe to drop, but unfortunately for them, lazy yeah, piece of joke. shit, lazy piece of shit, Tommy Cockwell has been deader than O.J. Simpson for the two month period of inactivity. Oh, okay. Wait, so he's a, he's a dead guy. Yeah, and they fired him posthumous because he didn't. They should have ran. They shouldn't have. See, they should have learned from Dennis Hoff and the Republicans uh, a few years ago when they ran his ghost and won. 
They so. could have, or they could have checked to see if he was live. I guess no one informed Reform UK, and Reform UK didn't bother to place a call, so they just no. fired him, smeared him, and now are apologizing for being big time dummies. Naturally, I'm mortified that through ignorance, I did not realize the reason for his inactivity was death. It must have been ghastly for his family to read about it in the way it was presented in the press. Oh, you know what happened here? <laughs> This is this is a double fuck up on Faraz's oh, part because the the only way someone dies and your employer doesn't find out is if that person is so fucking dedicated to their job that they don't have anyone in their life because their job is their marriage. Hmm. That's what happened here, Faraz. Thanks. So, but well, but they wouldn't if he what was else that could it be? industrious. People would have noticed because he would be working all the time, and you'd know he wasn't working. So I think it's just maybe. Well, he's such really a boss. He had two weeks of leeway. That's what I'm saying. He crushed so hard two months. two months. That's what I'm saying. He was ahead of his work two months ahead of his work. That's I mean, if nobody notices you dead for two months, not many people are checking up on you. They don't no, know. That's um, you know, not many people are relying on somebody who they don't realize is dead for two months. Right, and like, no, and his campaign manager, no one in his campaign sent a message or like, no one posted anything online. Like, RIP right. or like, no. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. They were but, just uh, hoping he was going to hang in there through the election, and lo and behold, yeah, they fired him. They didn't check the papers either. Hey, is it the tea that does that to teeth like Ni Nigel Farage? Is it just the amount of tea? I think the tea drinking? helps. No, it's is the it? lack of fluoride, Willie. They, so they don't mm -hmm. put fluoride in the water, right? And down in Florida, they're pulling fluoride, fluoride from the water. Um, the Brits didn't have fluoride in the, in the water until the 90s, I want to say. Look at the dangers. Some people say it causes cancer. I don't know. Well, yeah, Farage isn't going to take fluoride if he has the option. No. no. Anyways, so there you go. All right. Wow, that's what's happened. Let's keep it international. Uh, and this next international moment is brought to you by the BBC, because that's where all the stories came from. Uh, but also, regular Shane in the Discord server, uh, patreon.com slash factor to get in there and talk shit with us about the news while we're not taping, you know? When we're, when we're formulating, the plotting. When we're in the lab, so to speak. So uh, first up, over in Vietnam, a 67-year-old female billionaire property developer uh and her name is uh truong mi lan there she is she's been sentenced to death uh this last thursday uh for defrauding one of the country's largest banks for over 44 billion dollars billion with a b over 11 years so where is this vietnam thank god i don't live in vietnam said bernie bernie madoff Communist yeah. Vietnam, right? Yeah. So for sure. So she's Made a billionaire in Vietnam, and she defrauded for eleven billion dollars. Forty. Yeah. Forty-four billion dollars. Forty-four. Forty-four billion. billion. Okay. I mean, we just had a case of a prominent um, individual in our country being convicted of uh, defrauding banks. He's, He's going to be state developer. That's been, right. Again, potentially not put to death. That's Thank God I don't live in Vietnam. Says Sam Bank. Capitalism, I guess. Yeah. I was thinking Donald John Trump. Well, yeah, that's probably, I mean, Vietnam would kill like a thousand, like how many people during COVID defrauded? Like Vietnam would have to put to death like a million people over here. Uh -huh. Well, what's funny is uh, their their definition of defrauding is, is pretty hilarious in this case. So what you do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the communist government is apparently hoping uh, that the death sentence, you know, the threat of being put to death, the finality of that, and the public hearing with over 2,700 witnesses who were called will encourage Truong Milan to return the $27 billion uh, U.S. equivalent that they're demanding her to repay on top of also accepting her execution and the end of her life. So they're saying, not only are you executed, you still owe us $27 billion, by the way. That's stupid. And so maybe Shit. the execution Shit, 20 700 witnesses? 2,700 witnesses. Apparently, there was like eight tons of paper evidence. I mean, well, you're just, you're just beating the dead horse after, I don't know, 1,100, 1,200 witnesses. You know what I mean? They put her family like, in yeah. jail. Like, we, we get it. Okay. <laughs> she she's stole. Some of those witnesses are lying. They just want to get in on it because it's fun. Right. Like, yeah. Look, just, just uh, 900 they, to 1,200 more witnesses and we'll get out of here. <laughs> you think some of the 2,700 witnesses weren't forced by the communist government to right. go in there and say some things? Oh, yeah. What are they thinking? Why don't they like do something like if you return a certain amount, we won't kill you? And they should start like auctioning off body parts. Like, you know, you like you're going to lose one arm or one like 
leg or like one you're like you're like a fingers like each finger is a billion right no, and so she, they can like they, they should like have an a la carte menu where she has to return certain amount amounts to keep her leg that's how the mafia yeah. would do it yeah. they would start like small and get and work right. up to the work up to your full nut uh, but in this case, the communist government of Vietnam is going with shock and awe. They're going with are they, com- are they communist? Throw yeah, throwing the entire uh, throwing the entire family and all of the you know related. They're not going to get any money back if they're going to kill her anyways. This is stupid. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, how she did it though was actually pretty impressive. Uh, she started as a street makeup vendor in uh, she worked her way up to be one of the top property developers from there in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, of course. Uh, and then in 2011, uh, when three banks were about to go under in the city, uh, she was able to band them together into one bank called Saigon Commercial Bank, now one of the biggest banks in Vietnam. And on paper, uh, Truong only owned five percent of the bank, which is legal in Vietnam under their, uh, you know, regulations. But through shell corporations, she actually ended up owning more than ninety percent of the bank, which is very illegal. Oh Probably shit! Illegal. Oh uh, shit! Oh shit! Bank, shit. Also yeah. Definitely very illegal in communist Vietnam. So now they say that all of those bank transactions are basically fraudulent. And especially when she was loaning to herself, right. which was 93% of the bank's business. So she was her own bank and business property developing, and she was doing 90% of her bank's business. One of All the right, biggest killer. To herself. Right. Yeah. It's You're especially sad when, when, well, what, when everyone else is poor. All right. I don't I'm like a, I'm a, In this country, at least half of us are like, kind of not poor. You know, well, killer. Yeah, killer. If you're a communist dictator, that's what you'd say. The accusations include uh, that she kept up to four billion dollars in her own basement sometimes, and she was bribing and intimidating people via her bank, which is obvious since that's what banks do. They handle money and collect cash via intimidation. That's literally what a bank does. That's a, that's Viet- a job. Have Vietnam rappers started rapping about her? Four billion in the basement is it's gangster. Incredible. It's very gangster. It's a uh, sick thing to say on a bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> and so because Truong Milan was her own bank and business all in one without the communist government getting any peace at all, she's now being put to death. Sure. Um, I mean, she knew the risk when she took it, but she ripped people off. Get her the who fuck out of it. I mean, who, I'm sure she ripped a ton the of communist people off. Government is who she ripped Why off. she? Oh, but that's the people. No. That's the people. Everyone, she's making deals to herself, screwing over everyone else. Look, I think there needs to be a fine line between uh, how what how they're treating her and how we treat our Bernie Madoffs in here. And what did Sam Bankman Fried get? Like ten years? Something? What did he get? Something stupid? Got twenty five, I think. He should do maybe just everyone should just do maybe life. Life was life. That was for defrauding, you know, citizens. She. she How is she not defrauding citizens? She the government. She owns her own banks. The people's government. Yeah. So she's not paying any taxes. But she's also loaning to herself at sweetheart rates and all these different things. So she, well, right, but it's just she could be loaning free. to other people. She, I'm sure she loans seven no, percent. She loans some. I understand you hate communism as do I, but you can't make her a hero for being a piece of shit that she is. It's a great business. I mean, look, here's my thing: is the people okay didn't need this, right? And the people trusted her, and the people got she the started. Life, she made life way worse. Most of the buildings the people live in in that city in Ho Chi Minh City. The people spoke. Okay, the people spoke. Well, What's no, the popular shit? dictator spoke and now she's well it's uh, what do you do no she spoke she spoke when she ripped off all those all the people of vietnam dog that's what i'm saying yeah, to i you. don't think she's a good person at all i'm i think she you guys are good. fucking hey, pink. Ma- i'm telling hey you. mark what's the math here so there's 98.19 million people that live in vietnam you want me to okay? divide that and by 2700 i'm not going to 2700 people yeah it's, it's way less than one percent <laughs> pat <laughs> Damn near one percent of the Vietnamese people <laughs> testified her like trial. Damn near one percent got in there. Yeah, that's and a sign of a well-functioning government when you call in one percent of the population to test. I mean, if you told a, if you told a federal prosecutor here in the United States that they were going to have a case with twenty seven hundred witnesses, they they would go to Vietnam and commit bank fraud in a form of suicide. Because, like, just I mean, no. No, it would cost yeah, we're too just much money. An insane communist government be crazy. They should have handled it. A, a so you think way. she's a hero? That's insane. 
I don't think she's a hero. Mm-hmm. I just don't think she should be put to death for being an, an oh, no, amazing I was joking about that. Who, no one should be put to death for financial. She's not an amazing business woman. person. She's a, she's a fraud. Yes, she worked her way up from a street vendor. Oh, come on. Spike yeah. learning how to set up shell corporations. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it was effective. Well, yeah, okay, then, then no I, one should be in jail in America for financial crimes either. Then you're by your logic. I don't know about all that. So mm-hmm. she, I don't know about all that. I mean, she did say buildings because like it's a little bit different than Madoff who just took all the you money mean she built them it wasn't an investment scheme it was, it's, it's building scheme so she did make stuff along the way of taking a ton off the top 44 billion worth is what the if one live America, fact check yeah. from Eric if one percent of the population came out against someone that'd be 3.4 million people coming out. again I think that I didn't do the math but I think just simply 2.7 goes into nine million like four times to get to i think it's a fourth of one percent or like a four four tenths of i you know like, i i so it would be certainly less point two five percent yeah that's so i was right but by, by my math but uh that would so that'd be less than a million it'd be like what 800 something thousand in the u.s this is too much it's just a boring trial that's a real boring trial how long yeah. that trial go for uh, a few days i'm thinking you know, at least a couple weeks. Few days. they got the 2700 in there okay oh, get maybe, in there next you know, Maybe not a hero, but uh, I don't. I'm not with the commies on this one. Don't put her to death for being a great businesswoman. Uh, that's that's a little bit over the line in my estimation. All but right. that's what that's what they're calling over there in commie land. Okay, over in Pompeii, uh, more excavation has uncovered ancient art from the volcano destroyed Roman city, including this painting of their sun god Apollo with an absolutely tiny, tiny penis. Okay. And it is no wonder they got volcanoed mocking the gods like that in a fucking mural in the city. The disrespect is unreal. Apollo's penis is basically invisible. Apollo has absolutely no shame either. He's just showing it to that lady. Just like you like. She's looking ashamed for him. Look at her. Cassandra. Cassandra's disgusting. She's got her arm on her face, hand on her face, palm face palming. For the like, why is Apollo bitch? waving his micro peen in my face? Apollo is shamelessly flaunting that thing at her. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's so, half a pinky. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. So it's a it's a Hitler sized penis allegedly. And he's looking <laughs> serious. It's hard not to laugh for her because he's staring at her with such serious eyes. You can see why Pompeii got fucking destroyed by the gods back in the, the days of the Roman gods because you're putting up pictures of Apollo like that and expecting no reaction. Give me a break. That's yeah, Apollo's like, all right, they're dead. Yeah, dead. <laughs> so dead. All the other oh. gods on Mount Olympus are showing him the fucking mural. Check this Excuse out, me, guys. Apollo. Can I get access to the down portal, the, the earth portal? I heard there's a new painting of me there in Pompeii. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my Zeus God. Is, Zeus is trying to talk him down while chuckling. Everyone, all the gods are laughing at Apollo. <laughs> Look, Apollo, Appy. It's uh, it's an accurate depiction. Okay, what do you want from them? <laughs> you can't get mad at Apollo. We've seen it. Oh yeah, Zeus was having a ton of fun with that. He was giving Apollo so much shit, and so well, maybe yeah. you should invent pants, Zeus. <laughs> yeah, he has. Zeus has clouds. He has all kinds of shit he can put over it. Like Apollo, I don't know why is he so nude. Nobody knows why is the penis so small. Only the artists in Pompeii knew before they got destroyed by, by a volcano. So I think it, it probably is linked. And then back over to communist Asia uh, in the most communist part of it, North Korea, uh, their government controlled uh, central TV agency recently aired a 2010 edition of a- Alan T- Titmarsh's Garden Secrets. Alan Titmarsh Garden Secrets for its morning audience over there in North Korea. Uh, but they made sure that viewers could not see his genes. They blurred them out completely since genes are seen as a symbol of Western imperialism uh, in uh, North Korea and they are, are, are ipso facto banned, okay? Uh, yeah, you so. can't, the only person that can wear jeans is Kim. That's it. No one no, he can't wear jeans. 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 He can't wear jeans. Apparently, <laughs> Kim Jong-un is, has a hatred for skinny jeans and jeans in general, skinny jeans especially, and and Western logos. That's the BBC said that. Okay, that's according to the BBC. He hates they, it so much that he has the largest film collection in the world. Yeah, despises yeah. jeans. As a, Can't stand as a guy him. with a body type like Kim Jong Un. I get his hatred of skinny jeans. Um, right. Well, so if you're what I'm saying sense. is if you're in North Korea or planning to go there, 
do not wear skinny jeans and Western logos on your shirts unless you want to get OJ because that's that's what Kim Jong Un. I mean, that's according to the BBC. He says that he feels that way about about. So this he thing. he secretly loves him. I mean, Dude, how does Vietnam have more people in South Korea? It's crazy. Anyway, um, because they won the war, Pat. Yeah, no, Vietnam. I guess technically did too. That's what I'm uh, saying. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Uh, speaking speaking of Koreans. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> speaking oh, of yeah. the continent of Asia, Wes is of, here. of Asia, uh, I, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this. So, uh, there's new news in the Shohei Otani interpreter situ- situation, and uh, sports writer Jay Mariotti posting in the Substack. Don't let this fool you. Baseball is trying to pull off a big ass con, and Otani absolutely gambled on baseball. Well, O'Connor. not according to Okani, show, show high Okani, not according to the new documents, okay? So uh, his interpreter there, Ippi Misuhara, uh, is not saying Maybe. Yippee. Mm-hmm. Way too old to have that fuckboy haircut. Those oh, yeah, that, he's got but there's just a couple of bros, these two. You could tell, like, they... They've been placing sports bets for a long time, drinking beers. Yeah, what are he's they? The fall guy. I want to hear what Pass to say, but this guy is, is his buddy, and he's definitely taking the fall. All right, so he's taking the fall bad. So it, it'd be um, it'd be this is this is in the new court document. He got charged with bank fraud, guys. He's facing thirty years, and he apparently took sixteen Christina Millions from Shohei Otani's account. Okay, paid the bookie when he won. The winnings went to a separate account that Shohei did not have access to. This is according to the court records. Uh, when he lost, he went back into Shohei's account and took more doskies. Uh, why didn't I want to figure this out? Well, according to the court documents, Ippy set up the account, which is him and Shohei on it, okay? And then told the advisors that Shohei wanted that account private. He rut row. Um, now, he's talking to the prosecutors about doing a potential plea deal, but my big question is doesn't bank fraud exist only if someone's saying that they were defrauded, right? So, like, Shohei, no, theoretically... No, you, can lie, you can lie on your forms. But this this type of bank fraud is taking money from Shohei's account, which he was a signer on, obviously. Now, now apparently, he did also inter- impersonate him, Shohei to the bank sometimes over the phone. Maybe that's where the bank fraud comes in. But I just feel like... Oh, the arm's a little sore. Yo, let's just say, let's just, let, 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 let's just take pictures for you. all day. No, it's bank fraud if you if you do actions that are against the the rules of that account. Like you set up the rules with the bank at the beginning, and maybe you falsified something at the beginning that could be fraud. And then also, if you break the rules of that account, whatever they are arranged with the bank, that's also fraud. Well, listen, so if if if, if uh, Mark and I were paid, right? Mark, I'm paid. I'm a baseball player. Mark's my guy. I use my interpreter. Mark steals sixteen million from me. And uh, somewhere along the line, I find out and I start paying the bookie directly to pay off so Mark doesn't lose his toes, right? Mark's not going to get charged with bank fraud unless I say charge Mark with bank fraud. If I say, you know what, I'm not going to bring charges here, well, they're going to the drop it. You don't think the prosecution is allowed to do that? The state prosecution? I mean, they're probably allowed to, but they're just not they going wouldn't. to. Well, look, I got I have another tale. Well, it's so thing. honorable over... over- um, in Korea, I think the the impersonation might really be not be taken lightly. You know, like True. they that that might be a, a big no no. Pat, what if what what if this happened? What if you told me to to place sixteen million dollars in bets and to keep it quiet, and then we won a ton of money, and then the Dodgers offered you seven hundred million dollars, and you're like, I don't need much of it now. I'll defer six hundred eighty eight million of it because I have so much in gambling winnings um and then we get caught and you're like mark you're gonna have to take a 30-year fall here yeah I mean, that's, no. a, that's also an a 30-year extremely... fall i'll blow up baseball why I'll the hell did he defer first. 680 million of his 700 million dollar contract that's that's a that's a pretty great theory as well because where did that uh other money go the winnings they say to a well, account you... that show he had or someone had access to the interpreter right, this is no, the winnings all, all, no, the winnings no only this other guy had access yeah. but right. so here's the detail guys okay. Remember, remember, remember that football player we were talking about who FanDuel ratted out um, or DraftKings ratted out? One of the, hey, one of the big Butte. books ratted out. Yeah. Right, hey, Sean Butte. 
I remember like the amount of bets he was placing was just like nutty, like f- no, insane. Like the volume. Yeah, he was. He was just yeah. Uh, Ippy made nineteen thousand wagers between twenty twenty one and twenty twenty four. Around 25 bets a day, ranging from $10, okay, to $160,000, averaging $12,800 in bets. He lost $182 million. He won $142 million. Oh, he net His lost net losses million. were $40 million. No bets were on baseball. No bets were on baseball. Benjamin Ruiz live comment says, too bad Pete Rose didn't have an interpreter. interpreter wow. Take the- Dude, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's what this so Kate was asking. Kate, Kate was like, what's the big deal here? I was like, Pete yeah, Rose I, is the big I, deal. I, it's Tani, Pete Rose is the big fucking deal here. Otani is using a fall guy just to get out of of saying he gambled on baseball. That's amazing. I don't know. That's a, no, I don't it wasn't, know, dude. But it wasn't baseball, yeah. Pat saying. For it sure. should have been baseball. And they well, I mean, gambled been on whatever. whatever. Gambled on whatever. Yeah. I mean, Whatever. He's using so here's a couple. To, you know, he how may have he, lost. But how what, is he not going to get so caught? far as suggesting he lost, but he may if have If show won, he's not know. involved, how like uh, how long is I don't think if on? you're a pro baseball player, you have enough time to make 25 bets a day. Yeah, consistently I don't, that, every he, day. I, he, but how, how long is this going on? Pete Rose proved that. For he three died. years. And he didn't notice any of this financial stuff for three years at all. He just has right. Friend, what was his deal? His best friend his deal guy guy was just, no, was just, I'm with you, Mark. He knows about what, whatever this is that's going on. He's, yeah, this is just a story they're sticking to. So he's stupid. He didn't know that his best <laughs> friend was gambling all this money all the time. All million, day. How did he have account? time to interpret? Yeah. So uh, another weird thing is yeah, Otani speaks English. First of all, sure, Otani speaks English. Yeah, this guy's That's more of like a weird. blunt roller and gambling buddy. Than yeah, he's a blunt roller. You could yeah. pull, yeah, pull the picture up again. You could see, look at their body language together at the stand here at the Dodgers. Uh, yeah, these two I might mean, get queer That's together. buddies. That's buddies who gamble together. Some people are saying that. Drink, they drink Kiranichi bonds and yeah. So they share That's what they get they down on. All sorts of things. Certainly picks. Um, here's here's a, uh, a a message from the complaint from one of the bookmakers. He messaged Ippy. He said, "Hey Ippy, it's two o'clock on Friday. I don't know why you're not returning my calls. I'm here in Newport Beach and I see Victim A walking his dog show. I'm just uh, gonna walk up and talk to him and ask how I can get in touch with you since you're not responding. Please call me back." Yeah. So I mean, Ippy, Ippy, he dodges people. That's one thing. Know, those, those two dodge everybody. They. Otani dodges the entire U.S. media. Ippy dodges every single collector. Uh, I mean, they're th- that's they're so boys. Either Otani is a buffoon that didn't have any control or knowledge of his finances for three years, or um, his best friend is. Um, I, I mean, what's the other? What's the alternative? He's either, a, he's, either he's either he's either a buffoon or, or he's or he's the wor- or Otani is the worst friend and is forcing this guy to take the fall and, and the guy agreed to it. Like the, either way, no it doesn't matter. The, the end result is they're going to stick to this story and he's going to take the fall. It seems like it. I don't think. Yeah. We'll know. So he. Oh, but hold on. But so so he called the bank and pretended to be Otani. They recorded calls with the bank. They recorded calls of Ippy calling the bank. Hey, it's a show. Hey, or he was like. Hey, and they were like, wait, I thought he couldn't speak English. And then he was like, damn it. And he hung up. Yeah. And then he called back. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's like, how are you doing today, Sean? He's like, oh, you know, a little tired from the double header. But uh <laughs> anyway, so so they 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 have they're recording calls to, with Ippy calling the bank and pretending to be Shohei and uh getting the bank to authorize transfers um to an associate of the bookmaker. So, I you know like if, if Shohei was down with it, why wouldn't he just like Shohei can't transfer the money? Because you can't gamble on sports as a pro athlete. You can't gamble. So, that so Shohei's like, yeah, yeah, you can have the money. Just call the bank and pretend to be me on the off wow. chance that well, maybe well, the maybe, bank records the phone maybe, calls. You're a good point. Maybe <laughs> what happened is maybe what happened is they they did this together, and then this guy Ippy got too into gambling and flew too close to the sun and started making his own bets and like wanted some. Yeah, more that extra. could have all happened. Yeah. The, the bottom line is you know that they're buddies because who do you pretend to be sometimes amongst your in your life only your closest friends right, right. or your family that's the only people who you would actually like do this kind of shit with it's it and they got caught or whatever and he's gonna take the fall because because otani's the fucking best 
MLB player today. So you also don't let a 40 year old with a 20 or with a 17 year old K-pop haircut around you, unless you're fucking him and gambling with him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think Shohei was probably like, yo, I just don't want to know anything about it. I you think it's a Diddy situation here. I think it's like a Diddy situation. Diddy and Biggie situation. <laughs> yeah. I love your hair. I think that was the diddler. Of- All right. That's the show. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, it's divided. Rooting for his demise. This is perfect for him. Oh, yeah. We'll see if this guy takes a 30 year fall. Get out there and have a great fucking day. <laughs>